that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. What is up guys? Welcome back to the videos. If you guys are new, my name is Mike. So today I am finally gonna show you my new car. If you guys are active and following me on Instagram, you probably already know that I gave a couple hints or if you guys are active with watching the videos, you guys already know that I gave you guys a couple hints. Actually, a lot of hints in a lot of the videos, especially the car meet like part of the videos. I also had a poll and asked you guys what you guys thought I bought. A lot of you guys guessed Miata. A lot of you guys guessed something Subaru, which you guys aren't wrong. I really wanted to get a Subaru, but I did get a Subaru because I wanted something different than my Evo. If you guys remember a little while ago, we imported a WRX from Japan. Long story short, I sold it because that's what we do. We import cars and we sell them. One thing I learned about the WRX is it's a lot more fun than I initially thought but it was way too similar to my Evo. So with that being said, I wanted to get a daily, which is something that you guys would enjoy seeing on the channel and the car that I've always wanted. I imported an Altezza a little while ago and the car was great, although I didn't fall in love with the car as much as I thought I would. Long story short, I sold that car too. So there goes WRX, there goes the Altezza. I saved up and I bought the car that I really, really wanted ever since I was younger and I actually remember my dad taking me to the dealership just to see one of those cars when I was like I want to say like 10 12 ish years old like the day I picked it up I just could not believe that I own one and it's just so much fun to drive I was told it's a little sketchy for winter driving especially in Winnipeg if you guys are local you guys know how our winters are I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the car is I hope you guys are as hyped as I am because this car is something that I really wanted for such a long time all right guys, I'm legit looking at the car right now. I don't know if you guys are ready. Okay, three, two, one. I bought another Evo 10. All right, so I figured you guys really like Ariana. So this one has like a red uh, Mitsubishi logo. So um, this one's, I'm gonna name this one uh, Rudolph. And it's pretty clean. It has 53,054, about 55,000 kilometers. GSR, uh, cloth interior and everything. And I put my old wheels on it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's gray and everything. Like, it's like the gray version of Ariana. All right, I'm just joking. I did not buy this Evo 10. This one is actually my dad's, the one you guys just saw. And we, like my dad's old boss, for say, owned a mechanic shop that he used to help out at. Long story short, that guy moved and he sold this car to my dad since he had way too many cars. So my dad ended up picking uh, this Evo 10. He's enjoying it for a bit. He does like it, but he says he's probably gonna sell it later on because, well, the Evo 10 is not fuel efficient and that's not something my dad is into. He is like 55 years old, so his fuel efficiency is just his thing now. That's why he loves a little Civic. Yeah, this is not my car, although, this actually is my new car. So this is a 2003. You guys probably think it's a 350Z, which it is, but this is a Fair Lady Z, which some of you Americans don't have yet, but you guys have 350s. But this one is right-hand drive. It has 53,000K, just a little bit lower than the Evo here. And it has the proper like Fair Lady Z badge. It's not a 350, it's a Fair Lady Z. Although I sometimes call it a 350 because it is, I mean like it is a 350. I believe this is the the like version S or something like that in Japan, which is equivalent to the enthusiast model. So it has the leather seat, no Brembos, unfortunately. Comes in the generic like 350Z silver and I hate the front end by the way. I think it looks like a Prius, honestly. <laughs> because I'll put a picture of the Prius that I'm talking about right now. Front end kind of looks like a Prius. If not, I kind of like the Prius front end a little bit more, but we'll be changing that. It's also the six speed manual. With it being a 2003, this has the DE motor and then the CDO 1, 2, or 3 or something like that transmission. Like, when, I've noticed when the engine is cold and you try to rev match in the third, it will grind just a little bit. So I usually just wait until it's warmed up and then I go into like rev matching. And by the way, this car is completely different when driving as compared to the Evo. Uh, is that better? Yeah, that's better. I'll give you guys a little bit of a like a look-see on the interior. One thing I kind of don't like is this thing here, although it's really cool when it opens. 
first of all, it's a useless cubby. I don't know what to put in there. It's kind of useless the way it is. And to close it, it there's like a little handle underneath that you kind of have to like Spider-Man pull out because if you let go, it goes back in again. So pull out and then you kind of like, so I just leave that closed. Sound system is actually pretty good. It's a Bose sound system, although it has CD cassette and no aux because I guess in 2003 they didn't discover aux yet or it was like a new thing but they don't have it but that kind of sucks I might have to get a new head unit which because I own an Evo and now a Fair Lady Z I don't have a lot of money right now gonna have to do something with the cassette to play music off my phone when you put this car into reverse there is actually a switch for the, the side mirrors to kind of like tilt down and you can kind of see oh what's up dude you can kind of see like the ground more and the curves and stuff like that both mirrors do that the switch is like this one right here so that's that's a little cool feature which i kind of find really really helpful so i was told by the seller in japan that this car has lowering spring i can't really see the spring since it's i think behind the wheel over here can't really tell right now oh yeah it says RSR lowering springs right there. So it is on lowering springs. I don't know how low it is, but I think it looks pretty good, especially for a daily. It's nothing too crazy. So this Evo came with wheels. I wanted to put my wheels on since I'll show you why the ones, the wheels that it came with are kind of bunk because they have like, I don't know, the guy who had it didn't really know how to drive or whatever. Um, it kept hitting curbs, I don't know, left and right. They're Tenzos, but these are the same bolt pattern as the Z, so I'll probably be stripping these, painting them just like how I did before and the Z actually has already rims like drift spares or whatever track rims that I can put on to this car and I'll probably work on the fitment a little bit with spacers because right now the stock wheels that's super bunk that looks terrible the few flaws I know of with this car since I bought it the rear bumper if you guys can hear it Something's loose in there. There is some condensation. So there's some water in the taillight, but I did get a replacement taillight. The taillight's super easy, though. I'm probably gonna do that right now. So there's just three little like covers that I'm just popping off with a screwdriver. There's like a little flat part, and then you just kind of wedge it in and pop it off. All right, so all the bolts are now out. Um, same with the caps and everything. I was told that the thing just pops off, so I'm gonna go ahead and try popping it off. There seems to be a lot of leverage on it. Um, well, we're gonna figure it out, boys. No better way to learn than to do it yourself. Oh, did I break anything? Oh, I did. Is that it? Just the one bulb in this taillight? Show you guys what I broke. So it's gonna be this little clip in here. Um, we all make mistakes. This is my first time changing anything on a Z. At least I know now that there is a clip there. And that clip goes right there. So I think if I flip this bad boy over, Disco potato, baby. She is right there. So that one's also broken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little bit of beetle tape there. I'll show you guys what beetle tape is, but it's like my dad's like wonder tape. He just kind of puts a little glob of it there. It's almost like silicone. And then that is gonna stick to this. And I think we should be all good. And there's probably a drain for water to go in. So yeah, we should be good once we put a little bit of beetle tape on it. All right, so this is the stuff I was telling you guys about. Um, it's Proform butyl tape or beetle tape. I don't even know what the fuck how to pronounce it But this is the stuff. I'm just gonna get a little piece of it and put it on the broken part of the halite and This should work. I think I don't really recommend gluing it whatever, but this thing um, It gets a little harder over time. So it kind of dries up and forms and becomes like this almost like plastic so I'm gonna get a little piece of this put it on the affected part that um, I broke and we should be all good to go now. Awesome. All right, so the new taillight is on. I should be all good to go. There's no more water in this taillight. I'm gonna assume that this works since I didn't touch the bulb or the wiring. Um, so yeah, that was super, super easy actually. I'm gonna spray some glass clear just to wipe all of this down so it looks mint all over again. All 
All right, so right now we are at another car meet. This is actually the first meet that the Z is going to. And these, this Z right here, that's gold. I really like it. Like the color, wheels, bumper and everything, it looks so good. Damn. So I gotta put an Evo in the vlog. Um, this is actually a really, really clean Evo. I love the wheels and the seat inside. I think it's a pretty rare one. I think it's a Tomcat Recaro. That's pretty rare. I really like that. Looks really good. Hi, Kev. Hi. This is an insane build. All the arrow that he put onto this car is all handmade. My camera's about to die. But man, this thing looks insane. I love it. Like vented fenders, the tow hook. These vents are actually from an R35 and the side skirts he all made himself too. That looks so, so good. This thing looks insane. I love it. Damn. I'm not a huge fan of like stanced cars, but this Miata looks sick. I really like it. Funny how a lot of you guys thought I would buy Miata. I would, but damn, probably not. I'd like to see more. There's baby girl. If you guys have any suggestions of what I should name this car, let me know down below because I don't have a name for it. I want like a Spanish name, but I don't know. I don't have any name. I have no idea what to name this car. So many nice cars and bikes too. Shout out to you, Lindy, with the R34. Damn, this car is so clean. And he tracks that thing, which is insane. This is a GTT that looks like a GTR, but still, that's the closest thing right now. He looks sick. All right, so Kevin and I are just driving back from the meet. We're probably gonna head home or go for a little bit of a cruise. So we're gonna have to end the video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the new Z from Japan. I think, I'm not too sure if many people have fair ladies from Japan on YouTube, but nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy this video and the more content that I'll be able to bring you with this car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Annie Perfect Society. Peace out, and make it happen.